<laughs> Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Brandon with us tonight. We're hopefully going to find some big old lobsters and there's a blow in the gale. So fingers crossed we don't die. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Our first one up. We've next. been down here 10 minutes and Brendan's got himself a basil. You say. Look at that. We Ooh. just missed one as well. It's yeah, a decent, decent one. one. Other one. Well done, mate. There's more. There's got to be more in here. Yeah, hopefully a big one. Come on. I'm pretty sure there's a lobster in here, guys. If we can find it. There we go, guys. Came out the back entrance and into the net. Brendan was just at the back there guarding it. That's definitely not a keeper, but we're on the right track. We haven't been here too long. We're just waiting for the tide to go down. That wind is blowing nicely, but we're finding lobsters. What a beast. We're just checking. I'm pretty sure that's not a keeper. Yeah, not far, I reckon. Nah. Yeah, about three mil out. Yeah, nice to see you, that's it. Come roll on, you keepers. Another lobster down. Look at that. A little male there. A little bit smaller than the last one. We're battling the wind tonight. And hopefully, the bigger holes they uncover and we get some bigger lobsters. Check this one out, guys. He's just mooching his way around. And look at his little claw. <laughs> Got a little strong claw. Nice to see, though. Oh, there's a lobster under here. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Felt like a good one. Got him. Oh, that's going to be a keeper, isn't it? Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice lobster, that one. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure it's not a female and it's not soft. And check that out. That's a lovely big male lobster right there. We had to work for this one, that's for sure. Look at the claws on that, though. That's a beauty. That's the ones we came for, eh, mate? Sure. That's, work. That's happy days. We've, we've walked a long way and right in the middle of the wind as well. But we finally got that one keeper. You beauty. Get the bag out. Hopefully we can catch some more bass and hopefully some more keeper lobsters. I forgot my foraging bag today. So this is all I've got. There's a nice little sack. I'm just going to push their claw forward, scrunch that up. That lobster's good to go. Straight in the bag. And we got our tea. You beauty. Come on, you shiners. We're going to start wading straight through all the big streams now, guys. That tide's low enough. Brendan missed a bass before. We've seen, lo we've seen loads of them, eh? They've been everywhere tonight. So hopefully this spot we can find some more or even a big one and now we've got the weather kicking in that's for sure it's raining now it's howling winds and we're still going <laughs> make sure to hit that like button guys as well deserved hopefully we can find you some bass we're in the water now so there's no point giving up there's a lobster here guys Looks like a good one. What's he like? Oh, be close. Yeah. Oh, she might be a bit small, yeah, that one, eh? For a second ago, yeah. Still, though, nice to see. Yeah, right on a ledge. Just sat there. Just literally walked up to this ledge here, guys, and it was just tucked underneath. Just shows where these lobsters can be, eh? Look at the claws on that big boy. Lovely lobster. Hopefully, we can get the bigger ones. Nice to find though. Another lobster down. Off it goes back into his hole. Got him. Oh, I nearly had my finger there. That was close. I could feel one in the back there, but I didn't know if it was a lady crab or not. It's going to be really close here. I don't know if that one's going to go in. 
Nah, that one's out. Yeah. Only by a couple of mil as well. Lovely to see though. Another lobster down. We're working our way up now because the tide didn't go down as low as we thought. We're still finding lobsters. That's what we want to see. Nice little conga there. Look at that. Snaking his way around. Is there a lobster under here though? That is the question. Those lobsters are certainly a bit elusive today. We're glad we managed to find one keeper. Brendan saying before, we're not finding any that are walking along the floor. All of them are just inside the holes. So obviously this big stormy weather is pushing them in. There's a ton of prawns around. Something in here, guys. I'm not sure if it's a lobster or not. But we're about to find out very shortly. See if I can just ease him out. Come on out, my friend. There we go. We got him. Another lobster down. That's a female, that one. Female there. By next year, that'll be a legal size lobster. And should be reproducing more for us in the future. As you can see, that hole was perfectly dug out. Nice and clean, no seaweed. The amount of Orma shells we're finding tonight. Either something's eating them or the storm's killing them off. We're yeah, finding them everywhere. One before. Oh and yeah. There's half an Orma in it. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. So That's strange. So Brendan, so Brendan there, he found a half eaten Orma. So something's definitely having a munch. Hopefully it don't do too much damage. <laughs> He's not out the back. Yeah. We're at the top of the beach now, guys. You enjoy yourself, mate? That's been good fun, eh? Yeah, it's probably be a little bit shorter video this time, but we have fun all the same. It's been windy as hell, eh? Yeah, it's been blowing a bit, eh? Sure. Yeah, if you want to check out Brendan's channel, guys, I'll leave the link in the description. Happy days. Happy days. And hopefully, next time we go out in better weather. <laughs> We're finally back at the car. It's Lost blowing. <laughs> it is seriously blowing. I'll see you in the kitchen, guys. Back in the kitchen now, guys. What an awful night that was last night, but we still managed to get a lobster out of it. It was blowing a gale, raining all the time. So we're lucky to even make sort of a video out of that pretty much. But um, we're in the kitchen now. We're gonna make some nice fresh lobster nuggets. So all we're doing to start with guys, we're gonna quickly just blanch the lobster. So get this to a rolling boil, quickly chuck it in. I'll give it about a minute, a minute and a half. I'll take it out and then we'll get the meat out, chop it into sections. And then we're gonna breadcrumb it. Some nice golden breadcrumbs there, some flour and egg. Beautiful. So there we go guys. Our lobster's been in for about two minutes. You can see it's not gone red yet. Well not bright red. So you just want it cooked enough so it release the meat. So the idea of this, you want to cook it just so the meat releases from the shell and then it'll be raw in the middle. And then what we do is take it out, make some delicious little nuggets. You want some nuggets too, Smash? Eh? Oh, solid lobster. Check that meat out. Just cooked enough to where the meat falls out. Then what we do is pull this top part back and it releases the poo track inside of it. That comes out, all of that fresh meat goes into a bowl, ready for our nuggets. Oh. 
Oh yeah, look at that. You can see how gelatinous it is. That's because it's not cooked properly. So all it does by cooking it, this outer layer cooks slightly and it detaches itself from the shell. So now you're left with perfect lobster meat. So we've got all of our lobster meat here. I've cut it up into nice big chunky nuggets. There you can see, and all I'm gonna do is get it in the flour just to dry it off and let the uh, the egg stick properly. And we go straight into the egg and then straight into the breadcrumbs. And these are gonna come out really crispy. That right there is a perfect little golden nugget of lobster. Beautiful. So we'll get the rest done now and let's get cooking. Check these out guys. I left the uh, the snipper claw hole. But look at that. Perfect little lobster nuggets. These are gonna be lovely and juicy. You can't go wrong with that. We finish them off with some lemon. We we'll tuck into these once they're cooked. Fresh lobster nuggets going in. You don't want the oil too hot because it will burn the breadcrumbs. So just a nice even heat. I'm chucking all of this in here because I am absolutely starving. Delicious. I don't think anyone can say that these don't look good. Look at that for a bit of crunch. That one there looks like Mr. Krabs is core out of SpongeBob. <laughs> Lovely and crispy they are. You ready for some lobster nuggets, buddy? Eh? You want some good old lobster nuggets? Yes, you do, eh? You big fluff ball. <laughs> Check those bad boys out. A little bit of fresh lemon on top. And I get some sea salt in a minute, get that on top as well. He's gonna be good eating. We got lobster nuggets, bad. Lobster nuggets. <laughs> Been looking forward to this one guys. Nice crispy lobster nuggets. And check those out. Oh, crunchy as anything. I'm gonna go for a little one first. I'm gonna save smash one as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Good thing is, just blanching the lobster. It keeps it nice and soft instead of overcooking it. Oh, that's amazing. That's so tasty. Mmm. I put some um, some nice bit of sea salt over the top as well. What a hot! Ah, some of these nuggets are huge. If you had a few lobsters, this would be great for the kids. But if you have to buy the lobsters, it would probably be quite expensive. I would have thought. Look at that, oh, that is money right there. The claw meat's got so much more flavor. Well, we said this before in previous videos. It's weird how the, how the claw has so much flavor compared to the tail. The tail's still got a lot of flavor, but not as strong. Mmm. So tasty. Mmm. Those are good smash. Those are really good. I'll tell you what, some restaurants sold those. They'd be worth some money. We got the Mr. Krabs claw there, look at that. Mmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, big shout out to Brendan. CI Fishing Guernsey, his channel is. I'll leave it in the description. He's, he was a brave man coming out with me in that weather. But we trooped on. We managed to find a lot of lobsters in the holes, but a lot of them were just small. I was very grateful to find that one big one. Spin. Spin. <laughs> Lay down. Up. Good boy. Lovely. He never gets a treat for nothing. He has to work for everything. <laughs> Same as everyone in life. Oh, that's hot. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. These, are, these big ones are seriously hot in the middle. I'm burning my mouth. So stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I don't know what the footage is going to be like. I haven't edited it yet, but hopefully it comes out all right. We were dealing with the weather big time. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and hit subscribe button. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. Christmas is coming soon. There is cut off dates. So if you want any for family and stuff, I recommend buying it in the next couple of months or so. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm. Lobster nuggets are good.